Top 15 Richest Rappers of 2019 As we enter the fourth quarter of the year, we begin to see which artists have made the most of their 2019. These acts have capitalized on hip-hop becoming the world's biggest genre by raking in cash from many different angles. Merchandise, endorsements, touring, and streaming are just a few of the many income streams a rapper has in the digital era. Income streams that have made these 15 rappers millions of dollars this year. Number 15. Meek Mill 2019 was a big year for Meek. He had wins on the charts and in the courtroom. His 2019 has been focused on activism more than anything. With him being liberated in court and finally being unchained from an overzealous parole officer and releasing his free Meek docuseries on Amazon Prime. Despite having not released a mixtape or album anytime this year, Meek has still managed to generate an ungodly amount of money. 21 million to be exact. A considerable portion of that came from his 2018 single, Going Bad, peaking at number 6 on the Billboard Hot 100 charts, and eventually going two times platinum. His biggest source of income was touring, as he headlined his own tour this spring, followed by a co-headlining tour with Future and Megan The Stallion. Meek has performed more this year than any other year in his career, and that has sure allowed him to collect a lot of back ends. Number 14, Swizz Beats. They say the average millionaire has seven streams of income, and it's safe to say that Swizz Beats has that, if not more. He wears many hats. He's been a producer, DJ, entrepreneur, art collector, and even a Harvard Business School attendee. All of these coupled together allowed him to make $23 million in 2019. A big portion of his income comes in the form of royalties. For the plethora of hit records he's produced with hip-hop superstars such as DMX, Busta Rhymes, Jay-Z, Juvenile, and the list keeps going. Plus, that's only counting the 90s. Other than that, he's made a lot of money by venturing into the art world and holding an ambassador position at billion dollar beverage company Bacardi. Number 13, Cardi B. Cardi B making this list should be no surprise to anyone. She dropped Bodak Yellow in 2017 and has pretty much ran the rap game since. Invasion of Privacy, her first and only album which came out in 2018, has sold 3 million copies to date. In 2019, she made a lot of cash from her single with Bruno Mars, which performed so well that her and Bruno hit the road together for a 12-city tour. Through her own volition, she hasn't headlined a tour herself. Even still, she managed to perform close to 60 times in 2019, and she reportedly earned 300 grand a night. Being one of the most popular female celebrities, Cardi is a magnet for endorsement deals. I'm sure most of you saw her star in a Pepsi Super Bowl commercial earlier this year, and you know that they paid for that. Furthermore, her line with Fashion Nova raked in a million dollars in sales on only its first day. All said and done, her earnings in 2019 were 28 million dollars. Nothing to sneeze at. Number 12, Nicki Minaj. With no commercial release in 2019, Nicki has still made it a priority to get paid this year. Her 2018 album, Queen, performed very well upon its release and is still getting streamed millions of times every week. Plus, she released a new single a couple months ago and has been featured on many other artists' popular singles. She headlined a tour called the Nicki World Tour. Accompanied by new rapper Juice World. they performed 19 shows throughout Europe, grossing over $10 million. Musically, 2019 wasn't a big year for her, but she still pulled in $29 million. Surprising to say the least. Number 11, J. Cole. J. Cole's a very humble guy and he probably doesn't want to know that he made the list. Still though, he made $31 million in 2019. Considering his last album came out a year and a half ago, that's pretty impressive. Though he doesn't really identify as a business savvy individual, he's been pretty successful at running his own record label. Partnered with Interscope Records, Dreamville has signed several notable artists such as J.I.D. and Earth Gang, plus operates a highly popular Dreamville festival. The biggest chunk of Cole's earnings, like a lot of musicians comes from streaming and touring. Cole has an extensive catalog of music, a lot of which he wrote and produced. That's not to mention he's signed to Jay-Z's Rock Nation, which I'm sure has its own set of perks. Number 10, Childish Gambino. Acting, producing, rapping, singing, it seems like Childish Gambino is successful in every field he goes into. For that reason, it's not surprising that he earned $35 million so far this year. Compared to his 2018, which was packed with multiple musical releases, working on his TV show Atlanta, and playing a role in Star Wars, 2019 has been pretty tame for Childish. He has performed 13 times so far this year, and of course voiced Simba in The Lion King. But other than that, it's basically been an off year for him. 
Most of his income came from royalties off of his previous musical releases and TV shows, but his role in The Lion King and those 13 performances added a pretty good chunk. It seems like quality over quantity is his motto, and it's working. Number 9. Migos 2019 has been a year in which the Migos have branched out, and each of them have come into their own. And though Offset is the only Migo to have released a project this year, the money hasn't stopped coming in. Together, the group has performed almost 40 times this year, and they've all scored spots on some of the biggest singles to come out this year. All of that coupled with their appearance on QC's Control the Streets Volume 2. They managed to bring in $36 million together. Surprisingly enough, that's an increase from what they made in 2018. Number 8. Kendrick Lamar It has been two years since Kendrick Lamar released an album. The Compton MC still managed to make it into the top 10 highest earning hip-hop acts of this year. With 38.5 million in earnings, it seems like he's been enjoying life rather than overworking himself. Because he's only done five performances so far this year, and he's only done features here and there. Luckily for Kendrick, he's been building a back catalog of music for the past eight or so years, and he released a lot throughout 2017 and 2018, which has allowed him to chill this year. He still has endorsements with Nike and American Express that he earns income from as well. Number 7. DJ Khaled One of the most surprising people to make this list is DJ Khaled. For a guy who people say has no talent, you can't say he doesn't know how to make money. His 11th studio album was released this year, with features from pretty much everyone you could think of. Post Malone, Rick Ross, Justin Bieber are just a few of the names who have appeared on the 15-track project, which has sold over 500,000 copies to date. Beyond that, Khaled does perform pretty frequently with almost 20 shows this year, but more lucrative than that are his endorsements. Apple, Weight Watchers, T-Mobile, Awake Energy, and Ciroc are all companies that he has worked with. Combine all of that and you get Khaled's $40 million income for the year of 2019. Number 6. Eminem Eminem hasn't released a body of work in 2019. His most recent project, Kamikaze, which came out in 2018, has done so well that he hasn't needed to. Most of his performances this year were on his Rapture tour, which went through Australia and New Zealand, with a total of seven dates, earning him close to $10 million. Another big income source for this year was M re-releasing a bunch of his classic merchandise from when he first came into the game in the early 2000s. The greater part of his income came from his impressive catalog of music being streamed hundreds of millions of times monthly. Altogether, his 2019 pre-tax earnings were pegged at $50 million. Number 5. Travis Scott For being as new of an act as he is, it's impressive to see Travis Scott up so high on the list. It's been a pretty busy year for Travis as he's still consistently hitting the road off of his 2018 project, Astroworld. Travis has performed 49 concerts in 2019, but that still hasn't stopped him from making the time for a lot of other lucrative ventures this year. An endorsement deal with Nike, his own limited batch of Reese's Puff cereal which sold out in nearly 24 hours, and a Netflix documentary are just a few of the things that have helped the Texas-born rapper make $58 million in 2019. Number 4. Diddy. What would this list be without Diddy? Since the 1990s, he has maintained his status as one of hip-hop's best moguls and highest earners. While he still enjoys a significant stream of income from royalties on songs that he produced, rapped, or just owns the rights to, that's not how he made a majority of his $70 million income for 2019. Diddy's position as a brand ambassador and head of marketing for the Ciroc brand of vodka is what comprised a bulk of his earnings for 2019, as he reportedly has a 50% stake in the company. He also earned a large sum of money when Aqua Hydrate, a company that both him and Mark Wahlberg invested in, was acquired in a multi-million dollar deal with another company. Number 3. Drake In 2019, Drake didn't release any new music, but he performed on 25 occasions, which earned him an estimated $25 million. But that's only a third of his income for 2019. Another big portion came from streams, as we all know Drake gets an ungodly amount of streams. And after that is endorsements. Even though Drake's Adidas deal fell through, which we all know why that happened, he managed to secure a deal with Nike, and let us not forget his successful whiskey brand, Virginia Black, which has been very lucrative since him and an ex banker started it in 2016. This is definitely an off year for Drizzy, so he honestly could have made more than $75 million if it was a year where he was touring a lot and he had a new project out, but that's not to say that it isn't impressive. Number 2. 
Jay-Z. Of course, Jay-Z made the list. Time and time again, he has proved himself as hip-hop's most talented businessman. Jay's 2019 consisted of not a whole lot of touring or music releases, but more focus on investments and making his money work for him. Promise, a company that tracks parolees with GPS software, and Partake Foods, a company that makes vegan, gluten-free cookies, are two of the investments that he made this year. Those are newly planted seeds, so he hasn't seen a return on those investments yet, so they didn't factor into his $81 million earnings for 2019. What generated the most amount of money for Jay is his stake in brands like Doucet, Tidal, Uber, Armand de Brignac, and residual income from his extensive catalog of music. Number 1. Kanye West just a few years ago, Kanye West was $56 million in debt and begging Mark Zuckerberg, of all people, for money. This year, he made $150 million. How did that happen? Yeezy. Kanye's clothing brand Yeezy was projected to gross over a billion dollars this year, and since Kanye owns a 50% stake in the company, he got cut in on most of the profits. Of course, a big portion of his money came from streaming, album sales, non-Yeezy merchandise, and a few performances here and there. It's mind-blowing to think that Kanye could eventually overtake Jay-Z as the richest rapper of all time, provided Yeezy keeps growing at a steady pace. Did anyone on this list surprise you? Let us know in the comments section, and before you leave, click the like button and don't forget to subscribe.